go to Hong Kong Central District on a Sunday and you may as well be in Manila. Well, just a few miles down the road, there's Victoria Park. You could be in Jakarta. These are where Hong Kong's domestic helpers hang out on their day off. Over 325,000 migrant workers work as maids in Hong Kong. They come in search of higher pay, but they didn't start coming till the end of the 20th century. So where did Hong Kong's first maids come from? Well, let's rewind back and stop here. 1841, when Britain first colonized Hong Kong. The wealthy Chinese who settled in Hong Kong brought with them servants known as Moi Dai. They were little girls who were sold into slavery by their impoverished families. Moi Dai were allowed into Hong Kong until 1929 when the territory passed a law prohibiting the trade. During that same time, male servants were hired to look after the elite British soldiers who first arrived in Hong Kong. By the 1930s, Hong Kong's British expatriate population began to flourish. The colony became an island playground for the British elite who were looked after by their male Chinese servants. Dressed in crisp white uniforms, they did everything from cleaning the house to making and serving dinner. The male servant continued to serve Hong Kong's British population until the first women arrived. So now, the history of the women. In the early 20th century, Chinese women were allowed to leave mainland China and work in Hong Kong. Many worked as silk spinners before World War II, but as the Depression set in and the Japanese were getting ready to occupy Hong Kong, the silk industry collapsed. The women known as Amas were spinsters and turned to domestic work to earn a living in Hong Kong. Chinese Amas spent decades serving Hong Kong families, that is, until the Filipinos arrived. So when and how did the Filipinos get to Hong Kong? The uh, proclamation of martial law is not a military takeover. It was under the backdrop of then-Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos declaring martial law back in 1972. The Philippine economy was bankrupt and many women left the country to seek jobs abroad. By 1990, there were almost 65,000 Filipinos working as domestic helpers in Hong Kong. stock exchange where the rupiah crumbled under the 1998 Asian financial crisis. The currency plummeted, sending people panic buying throughout the country. The Indonesian government learned from the Filipinos how to build a labor export program. Today there are over 150,000 Indonesians working as domestic helpers in Hong Kong, just under the more than 165,000 Filipino workers. Many Hong Kongers rely on imported domestic help for affordable childcare, which enables double income households and a mobilized female workforce. One group calls Hong Kong's domestic helpers the engine of the middle class. <laughs> 